I can tell by how wet the ground is that the waters were up here probably another six feet. <clears throat> it's kind of squishy underfoot actually. This retaining wall, do you see these big stones here? Some of them are underwater. Usually they're about four feet, maybe five feet um, above the water. But look at that. Look how it's coming under the bridge there. And look how far the uh, water is up on the tree trunks. Just watch how quick it's passing by here. A little bit of debris. I see some logs. The other day when I was here, I saw some ice flows, but I don't see anything today. But it's so cold. It got much colder. You can just feel the, the power of this water. I don't know how anybody could survive if you, if you fell into it. It's just the strength of it. It's, it's just stunning, really. Right through this particular area in the summertime, you can frequently just walk uh, from one side of this creek to the other. The, the water's so shallow. All right, I think I'm going to go back to the car. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'll try to get a shot from on that bridge, too. This is the bridge that I took that video from the other day. I don't know how much time I'm going to have because traffic can come up behind you pretty often and this is only a one lane bridge, but I'll try to get as much footage as I can.
Okay, I'm here at the park. I had to leave my car outside of the gates. They have the gates shut because there's been flooding here. This is the pond that I usually tape that has the beautiful water features in the summertime. And where you see that white, that's the expanse of ice that usually is the dimension of this pond. But the creek that I showed you earlier has overflown its banks in areas and it caused the pond to overflow too. It's amazing. I've never seen it like this. Can you see that bench sitting there on that cement slab? The water is just within a couple feet of it and it's usually well, you know, <laughs> eight, ten feet away. And of course you can see the tree trunks are all down in the water and that's not the usual. So we did, we got a tremendous amount of rain few days and it sure is showing. Where the water is dark, that is always dry area. It's never underwater. This is the first time I've ever seen the water that high. I will tell you one thing though, it is so cold. I've got to get back to the car. Alright guys, I'll see you later.